Saints football. Here are your hosts, the Taco Slayer Jorge and MLS card guy, Chris. Oh, oh, welcome into some Sunday shenanigans. We're going to talk about all the MLS action this week and that we all watched because it was a great time. With me as always, Chris, the MLS card guy and Alex ATG. So rare, Mr. Messi himself. Alex looks hot. Don't we do? Looks like he needs a fan. I do. Yeah. I, I can use my commemorative tickets as a fan. Twenty dollars oh, each. Whoever oh. wants them, to hit me up. ETH only. Look at that. Or so rare. Look at that. So rare card of uh, one hundred twenty percent value. So coin only. Ooh. Ten thousand so commemorative, coins. One of these. Commemorative tickets to remember the night you couldn't beat Messi. Shout out. Here's a close Damn. up. Yes. Oh, and I got the that. scar. Oh, and he got the Whoa. scar. Well, yeah, they didn't reveal. even. It doesn't even say Arrowhead on it, so it's not even worth it. <laughs> Dude, that sucks. But either way, real quick, before we get into all the nonsense and all the shenanigans of this past weekend, I just want to shout out Javik for being first. Just kidding. ZM Star back in the chat. He was waiting in here. So Javik will take second. What's up? And Bob Flynn in the house. Bobathy. Let's go. Look, you love to see it. All the homies coming hanging out with us on a Sunday afternoon. We appreciate you. Javik's goalkeepers conceded three. Dude, it was a wild, wild weekend in the MLS. Hey, and- at least your goalkeeper didn't get sent off. Oh, 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 oh. Rest in peace. Revenge game? Who? What? Where? <laughs> we got Apparently his revenge. Not. Someone got their revenge, and it was him talking to the, He was talking to the ultras before the game. He like went up and dapped up all like the main ones <laughs> in the parking lot. That's funny. He told me, hey, uh, hey I'll, I'll sneak this one for you guys. I'll get you. I got one. you. I got Couldn't you. even no, win. Right. Couldn't yeah. even give him the win. <laughs> hey. Someone's got to take one for the team, right? Just like I took one for the team in our draft show. And uh, joke's on all of you guys. Mike Baston, howdy, mate. The joke's not on us yet. (laughs) Joke's not on us yet. Bob is tempted to build and run stacks so that his disappointment isn't spread out for the entire weekend. It all hits at once. Bob, I got to tell you, my lineups were completely garbage. There was just stinkers all over the place. I feel the same way. Like I'm just like, it's gross. I'm not looking at my results. It was just, ugh. I thought gross, there were supposed gross, to be more gross, awards. Gross. We can't even win a single one. Chris, Dude, I was you guys can't. From MLS? Um, I'm going to get myself like a rare I mean, box. I have Tommy, Jovalich, and Tolkien in the lineup that's winning a reward. Oh, that's not bad. Hey. Captain Tommy? Uh, Captain Hank Hoppier from Leverkusen. Shout out for winning the Bundesliga. I didn't see. Yeah, I was. Stoked. I'm not gonna lie. I was. I was two for two in Division One old season. Right. I was. I was going. I was like, let's go. Division One is mine, baby. Yeah. This week. Uh, oh, here we go. I was going for Challenger three Classic three. season. Oh, absolutely. Oh, there you on, go. You gonna pull this up? We, you gonna show? We us? got a. We we got a little bit of a sweat going. I'll pull up my sweat too. This, this is UC game. Santi Moreno didn't do anything. Oh God. Ah. We can we can still hit four hundred. That's not bad. That'd be like what a two three. Yeah, I think we could hit like. Uh, actually, we could definitely hit tier three, potentially tier two if he bangs like a full hundred. There you go, dude. So yeah, we're still we're still rolling. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. You don't like St. Louis tonight's the night. Tonight is the night. You well, are hopefully y'all. You are my friend, my an enemy of St. Louis is my not my enemy. <laughs> Here, check out my sweat, dude. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Must be nice having sweats. Must be nice having a lineup or doing something. Come on, Saba. Give me a hundred. Shout out, <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out, Sean John. <laughs> oh, no. We're so cooked. Where were we? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. We'll just talk about my bass Hold and on. holding you on get, to a sweat. You guys want to see a sweat? Oh, you guys want to see a sweat? Oh. This is this is a sweat. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, like, we're starting with the shenanigans already. Here we go! Oh God! Oh, whoa. here we go, boys! Dude, you made we were, one. Of- we were in first for a while, a little while. On Friday night, we were in first with the stack, and we are uh, we're currently trying to hold on to a uh, to a nice little nice little bump. This is a new season too. This is champion, so those cards, nice, those new nice season cards are nice, but like, I don't know. I prefer the old season. How much? How much ETH you winning up there? Uh, I think seventh is seventy five dollars worth of ETH, and sixth is one hundred and fifty. Oh, and then like you get into like this neighborhood, it's like it gets. This is fifteen hundred if we can get the first. So fifty two points is doable. He didn't pitch yesterday, so 
it's definitely doable. I, I need big games out of these two because nobody else has these two guys in their lineups. A lot of guys have these guys, but can I genuinely run a brewer stack? Because like, yeah, you can your awards. Yo, it's baseball. It's like any given week, any stack will hit. Like, okay, because we're what eleven and three now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, all right. We're, sure. all right. We're, we're getting rid of this baseball talk. I'm sure this is shenanigans. Okay. Yeah. We can do okay. All right. You want to talk about these shenanigans? If oh, y'all were around for our show last week, look at that. I'm just gonna pull he still has it. Because I love it. I still have it on here. We drafted signed lineups. All y'all gave me so much. Y'all talked so much smack while we were we were drafting these things, right? And all of a sudden, here we go. I'm one point behind Alex, who is in the lead. But guess what? He doesn't have any players left. I have a player left. Chris has a player left, and so does Thomas. But, yeah, but you have I you have Klaus getting, left. So is yeah. that even a player? I heard he's getting rotated, dude. Yeah, no, he's not. I don't think no, you have not. a player left. All right, don't you rain on my. Don't parade, worry, Brooks okay? Lynn and hundred coming in, and your Klaus oh, he's about can to get sit, an assist. sit there and Ooh. do nothing. Yeah, hey, 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 look at that, Bob Flynn is the number one collector in the Brewer stack. So if you want, yeah, you man. want some, go talk to Bob Flynn. Don't Big baseball don't, guy. Over can you there. donate me some cards, Bob? I'll win some awards and then send them back to you. Just I want to win something. <laughs> I just want the feeling of winning something. Yeah, you want the feeling of winning something? Well, maybe. you Maybe you should have done better last night, Mr. Messi, Mr. SKC. Mr. Hey, Messi I, I went, came to town. I went five what and happened? one in rivals. Three two. So uh what's going so, on? Tell me about tell me about this historic game at Arrowhead. So, first of all, it was so surreal to like be in that stadium for a sporting game over anything. And I was really expecting it to be like 75% messy, everything. And it was like 50-50. There was a lot of sporting stuff there. And so, and so I, you know, got there early. There was tailgating all over. There was a lot of messy jerseys, a lot of fake ones, you know. Um, same thing as as you're leaving yeah, the stadium, they're trying to they're trying to sell all of them. Thirty five dollars, you can buy them for five if you haggle them down. But um, yeah, what happened was is we came out, we started off pretty even, and then Tommy got a or libeled intercepted a ball breakaway. Tommy wrong footed calendar and put it back post. And then uh, Messi magic in like the 30th minute for a beautiful assist to Gomez. And, and then Messi did messy things in the second half and just did yeah. that. Colossal. You, you all saw the goal. It was crazy. It's obviously crazy seeing in person. I still like the League's Cup final goal that I saw in person a little bit better just because like the moment it was too. because I was like when he first got here. And so, yeah. And then I think the Tommy second goal was better. I liked it better. Really? That may just be bias, but if you saw it, it was like it was flicked on header. I don't know by who, and it fell to him like just inside the box, and then he just volleyed it off the near post and in. Uh, and then, yeah, the last goal. I don't know if anybody saw it. It was. It's just like you're trying to play it out of the back, and then you start playing like you have club foot, and you can't do anything. Yeah, it was. Amelia played it to Davis. Davis tried to like tee it up for himself. And then tried to cut back, got dispossessed, literally passed right across the frame of goal, went across the whole frame of goal. Suarez back post just literally tapped it in. It was the easiest goal. I didn't. It didn't even feel like I saw a Suarez goal. Like I don't even want to count that. <laughs> and so that's what he does though, he always does. Uh, that. He's just always in the right place at the right time. Hey, that's why he's so great. But he's not a good person. Um, and then basically held the ball and just delayed trying to press forward until we made a sub in like the 85th minute. Johnny Russell, finally back uh, on the pitch. The Tommy uh, substitution thing, he went down with cramp to try to buy time for to give Russell more time when he came in. Don't worry about that. What I will say worry about, though, is Voltaire. That injury did not look good. Uh, I expect Hernandez to probably start for him just because he plays that role more than Memo does, and Memo is more of an attacking mid. And so... Yeah, I don't know if we see Voltaire for a little bit. Uh, extent of the injury unknown, but I'm sure we'll find out tomorrow or Tuesday. And I would just not play him. Uh, brought Russell on, had like one corner, and the last 20 minutes went by so slow. We did have three people try to go and hug Messi. Ran on the pitch, two kids. <laughs> All that. Uh, they, they, the kids got there, they got a hug and then like Messi's bodyguard. I don't know if you saw the videos on Twitter, but he ran after him and, uh, he grabbed him and then he did tackle the one actual man who went on there. 
And so match ended. Polito got his jersey, and then they Messi was and Miami. They were all off the pitch within like two minutes of the final whistle. And then, so yeah, it was just cool to be an Arrowhead. Uh, and I'm excited about next week, dude. St. Louis team that's looked weak at home. We just had that big game where we came up short. We have almost everybody healthy. This could be the time where uh, some sporting stacks start start producing some rewards. What and, what happened to uh, Jordi Alba? Uh, here, pull it up. I wouldn't minute did he get subbed out. I think it was towards the end. The seventieth Toward, minute. Towards the end. Yeah, but... I think he got cramped too, if I remember right. I yeah, he did. So he he like kicked the ball and then like grabbed his leg and just fell to the ground and then immediately motioned for the sub. It was pretty obviously cramp. Um, I think he's fine too. I wouldn't worry about that either. Uh, Kermoski looked really good when he came on. He like almost scored immediately. And so, yeah, um, you know, with how report. Yeah. With how they're treating these Miami players, maybe Alba doesn't play next week just to like give him a rest, but we'll see. Obviously it's going to be rotated no matter what, but yeah. This Miami team is out of CONCACAF and all of a sudden they're starting to look a little scary again. But can and, they uh, can they survive the swampy summer is the question. Shout out, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Fier, Fiere, I don't know how you say it, that bottom center back. Dude, he was he was really good. In person, he was clearing everything out. Agata tried to hold up play a lot, and he was just shutting all of it down. And so I got to give a big shout out to him. Yeah, six interceptions. Yeah, he was, wow, he was balling out. So yeah, shout out to him. And uh, he's probably yeah, cheap. Hey, but- someone's got to play for this Miami team. He gets rotated too much to where you probably want to play him weekly, but when he does play, he's that was that was really impressive. And so, see, that's what I keep saying about this Miami yeah. team in general. There you go. <laughs> we'll just we'll call him French Fry. <laughs> I'm all up for that, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah! See, that's the problem with this whole Miami team in general, right? Like, there's just gonna be too much rotation in and out. There's too much guessing what else is gonna happen and Copa coming up. Like, things. Hey. Pad those points while you can right now. Like enjoy, enjoy the wins, like I've been saying. Enjoy them now because it's only going to get harder. But dude, I'm glad you were there. Glad you had a good time. Big games like that, obviously, whatever. As much as it is a marketing scheme and all that fun stuff, um, it definitely leads for good times. And, yeah, dude. Uh, people are people are pissed about it being a money grab. I feel like it's boosting soccer in in Kansas City, and so yeah, man. You know, it got everybody to sort of come out, and people were complaining like, "Where have you guys been for the last 13 years?" It's like. You know, these people are coming here to see Messi, and now they're exposed to sporting, and maybe this St. Louis game is going to be pretty big. It's probably going to be anyway, but especially big. Cool. Yeah, it kind of well, happened at a good our, time. That's our show for today, so I appreciate and, you guys for joining. <laughs> and uh, and it shows uh, what the World Cup's going to look like there. Really good atmosphere. So Yeah. yeah. I am excited yeah. for the World a big Cup game like today. this before a rivalry game. Um, it'll be it'll be big for the city. And uh, hey, <clears throat> someone who didn't know maybe they didn't know Sporting Kansas City was a team, and now they do. And now they're like, "Ooh, I like this soccer thing." And they saw so everybody like, hates hey, soccer go until they go to all, a game. I'm gonna go buy a rare stack of Sporting now that I know who they are and I know what Sober is. I, I should have been out there it's... advertising. When is it? Stop doing back. it to these poor poor people. Just July. That's that's when we it's get the Sporting close. stack going. Yeah, uh, you, I mean, Fontas is cheap. I did tip that uh, Fontas. I thought he was going to come back, but I then again, like we thought the same thing and he did actually play. And so, hey, Fontas for 20 bucks is not that bad, especially with how consistent he could be. So look out for that. And I did yeah, pick up a Felipe yeah. Hernandez for like three bucks just in case he does play. He's probably not going to do much, but, you know, it's a starter for three bucks. So there you go. There you have it. But on top of SKC in Miami, there was another big game this weekend. Maybe not big for everybody else, but it was big for this show. El Silsico. We're going to come up with a better name because it's just, it's something, something doesn't sit right. But either way, you know, El Sower in the States ago. What do you want me to call it? It's Darby. Oh, Ooh, it's there you Darby. go. Ooh, there you go. Orlando City versus DC United. It was looking very bleak for Orlando City in the beginning, but. Manage to do what they do best and scratch and claw and cardiac cats pull it off at the end. Like always, Chris, the MLS card guy. What happened, buddy? Que pasó? We didn't start. No Wayne Peltola. Rooney, no problem. We That's didn't problem. play See? our team. And yeah. that was a now that Wayne Rooney's decision. gone. Wayne Rooney's gone. We Can we check big chances? Big chances missed for Benteke. We need a weekly count up. I don't even I don't even remember any. I mean, granted, I was watching our. I remember game, not did DC. Oh, no, no big I, chances yeah. missed for the big man himself. I did yeah. see him try to like half volley something in like the 
25th minute and it went in i think it went over the stadium yeah so i mean we didn't we didn't really create that much to be fair um i mean i was like half watching this game because i was watching our game at the same time which is super unhelpful but yeah oh did y'all win (laughs) i didn't see (laughs) the taco guy derby there (laughs) taco guy (laughs) um yeah we didn't uh we didn't create a whole lot to be honest especially you know after the first five minutes of the game uh and i mean fletcher hopkins to some degree antley the home like those guys just aren't they're they're not it so yeah i don't know what the heck peltel is doing on the bench i don't know why pedro santos is on the bench Pirani finally got a goal. That's huge. So maybe he gets his confidence going a little bit. But off the bench, off the bench. Shout out. So big goal for him, dude. Is it time to um, sell Muriel? Like a hundred? Like get rid of him? Man, like, no point I, I done said it from the very beginning. It's like yes, like his XG was productive. When I he waited until he got deep, Europa, though. I got him for under stuff. ten bucks. Yeah, but still, like he he started. What was it? Like seven games in the last forty. Like he's not fit. And he's coming into the system. Like from the beginning, I said we should just start Duncan, have Mario come off the bench until he integrates, and then they could eventually swap. And no, and look what happened. And it's not, it's so tough with Mario because like there are flashes where he does nice stuff on the pitch, but like it's almost like a one man game, tries to take it to himself, tries to be flashy, tries to do his thing, ends up losing the ball, and we get smoked in transition. And it happens so many times, and he doesn't pick the right passes. And it's like one of those things where it's like it's so disjointed with everything else. And you saw, like, even this in this game, we went back to the double pivot. We got our, like, defensive midfielders back. And it looked like we played with the ball in front. Like, it wasn't, like, scramble. It wasn't all over the place. Like, there was actually some structure to this team. Um, And it and it actually worked out. And, like, Duncan, as soon as Duncan came in, like, you saw it. Like, a lot of the same passes. Like, there was one pass. There was a couple passes in the first half that got intercepted that were too slow that DC read like a book. But the exact same pass is the one that led to Duncan's goal at the end of the game. So it's like they're trying to play through that middle, and it's just like whatever's whatever Murray L's doing is so disjointed that um, th- things are weird. And uh, Dagger Dan, I've been on the Dagger Dan train for a little bit, and Dagger Dan is the guy. Dude, what about Ladero, Nico? Dude, super sub Ladero, man. But isn't that – wouldn't you say that's his best role, though? Like having Ladero come off the bench, isn't that like best-case scenario for this team? I mean, he looked good when he started but, the game before. And so, I, I don't know, maybe – but I, yeah, I guess you come off and get two assists. I guess that would be his best role then. And like, Chris, you've been down on Orlando. What did you see this game? Uh, I saw DC not playing, to be honest. 100% honest. <laughs> that was the shittiest game I've watched all year from DC. Um, and tech is yeah, they didn't, they didn't press, they didn't play the game. So I don't know what we can really take from our side from it. Didn't play our players and didn't play the game. So. Did Dagger Dan get negative AA? Uh, probably. Shout out. Yep. Oh, yeah. Negative point one. Got the but player. he's so active. Fair. He's good on header. the pitch. He's a good header. He makes things happen. And Breccolo, congratulations on his first goal. Finally, hopefully starting over Schlegel continuously uh, because that is rough sometimes. So, look. Dude, you got Oh, you and Gaiese. Gaiese with a stupid the error to that first goal. Can we talk about that? That first being taken goal? It's a little bit of an error. Gaiese ran into a brick wall. Tried to what come happened? out to punch the ball away and just didn't ran into yeah, it. So he run he run an he won an aerial duel against a keeper. No, Benteke was he didn't get to Benteke. He just yeah. Oh, he Benteke. ran into like, his he, own he, guy in a big pile like before they got to Benteke, and Benteke's unmarked on the back post. It's like what a, what a, what <laughs> is Orlando doing there? He's like Suarez, <laughs> horrendous. Dude, that, that happened in like the fifth minute of the game too, and I was like, yeah. oh no, I was like, oh here we go. It's gonna yeah. be that type of game. Cleach to Benteke but... in the in the first five minutes, and I was like, "Well, I'm good. I don't need anything else from this game." Well, and then we just, yeah, didn't play defense. I like Look. Jackson Hopkins. He shouldn't be playing. Not not a not an MLS caliber player. No. Damn. no. Look, I will say I liked what I saw from Orlando for the first time in a long time. It's still not there. There are still a lot of question marks and a lot of just not really finding the right players or the right runs or just like it's the attack is still a little disjointed but defensively i think we're going to be a little bit more sound again so also that'll be nice look at look at how many yellow cards dc got it's incredible i told you didn't i tell you 
Orlando, Orlando City will get those but yellows it wasn't, out of you. They it wasn't you anything Orlando was doing. It was like us oh, yeah, they the were all away and like not was, even like Bente- random crazy stuff that was like completely irrelevant. Ah, towards the end of the game, even Benteke like started getting a little frustrated and started like taking jabs and started, you know, maybe 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 pushing in the back and you know putting a little elbow in the back. And it was it was just it ended up being a little scrappy game, which is fun to see. You always love to see those. So hey, it is what it is. Orlando City finally finally beats DC after after what like two years, three years, something yeah, like that. Three years. It is can't keep a clean sheet. Been a rough. No, 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 we no we can't. No, we cannot. But. Just, the M-Star just brings hope, up a really good point. Hope Fletcher Our TFC fraud game. Dude, so did Marshall already get that assist or no? Because I saw on foot mob it said he did on the second goal, and then nothing popped up. Do we know what the state of that is? Because they didn't give it to him. And I'm mad. So rare. Data says no. No. They say no. Dude, Charlotte. We talked about Charlotte being being great at home. We said that they were defensively sound at home. But they just led up two goals to the very, very questionable Toronto. What's going on? What's happening? Is Toronto? Dude, it's, is Charlotte? Or is it, or is it a Wusu that's, that's gonna just be? good? And a bottom with his first goal. It's definitely not a Wusu that's mm. good. Let's let's go ahead and rule that one out now. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a um, good. <laughs> yeah. No, he. Mm, nope. Yeah, Dude, why did they rotate Marshall Ruddy? What did he do? He's been good for them. Because like Petretta yeah, didn't do Petretta? anything. Maybe he just needed a break. Guys. Let's see. Yeah, let's not. Maybe he was just tired, man. Maybe he was just tired. But shout out to Abada getting his first goal. Getting hey. his first goal. Congratulations. Finally off the mark. Shout out to anybody that bought him after I uh, I tipped him during the midweek. <laughs> and anybody who's listened to Trip and B for the last like month and a half. Trip and needs Trip and gets eighty percent commission. I get five percent commission. You get to keep the fifteen. So what are, how are we feeling about Sean John here? We all kind of hopped on the Sean John train because he was cheap, and he's just been killing lineups every weekend for ever. Well, I mean, we, we did we did say we were like, this Toronto team doesn't really score that much, and they just need to keep clean sheets, and they're just not keeping clean sheets. And they're now scoring, so it's weird. Uh, I'm still going to put him into lineups. like he's st- Of course I am, but I don't know. I don't think are they gonna switch him out and put uh put I forget his name, the backup. Are they no. gonna put him in? You think they're just gonna keep Sean John in? No. I think he gotta stay with Sean John, but look at the center backs that he had in front of him. Yeah, and he's gonna miss like, one of them too. They gotta sub him out. And he yeah. lost another one. I mean Long is actually yeah. the good one too. Nope. But they good. had who's Shane O'Neill has been actually pretty good this year. He's hurt. He wasn't in there. And he's hurt. Yeah. Um but so Marshall already is center back. I mean, even well, that's Marshall the problem Reddy, with Toronto right now. Terrible. If you pull um, up, Flores their, like, is really good though, and Coelho is really good. So like, that's where they're really playing defense. But like, their center yeah. backs are kind of garbage. And then Flores didn't show up in this game, so right. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna. I I still like Sean John. I mean, does it, how are his matchups? How are Toronto's matchups? Uh, let's find out. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, by the way, I found this like page on the MLS like website, their form guide. It is so good for looking at matchups all over the place. If it would freaking load, because my, my computer's been slow all day. Real quick, while this is loading, ZM Star says it's crazy to watch Bernadeski really giving a shit and playing hard. You forget he does have skills. <laughs> yeah, he has hey, to. John Herbert really has bought it. He has like, to take that up. Is, uh... That is the one thing that's crazy to say is that. Go ahead. Can, yeah, you, they, can you guys even they, see this, or should I pull up? Yeah, no, I can. No, see. I can. But they got New England. They're or... home to New England. Oh. They're away to Orlando. Home to DC. That Dallas. Home to NYCFC. <laughs> at Nashville. Yeah. And then home against Montreal. Those like That's really good matchups yeah. outside of away to Orlando. Really good matchups. No, those are really good matchups. Even away to Orlando, all those are really good. I'd rather be away to Nashville. So aside aside Orlando. all the injuries and all the nonsense. Are you are you saying it's like maybe by low time in Toronto we see some favorable matchups coming up? Who do you pick up? Who do you even pick up on this Toronto team right now? Other than Osorio, maybe. Osorio. Insignia should be back somewhat. That is true. Probably within like two or three weeks, right? He's about halfway done with this. I think he'll be probably back at some point during this run. His rare is like 80 bucks too. You think so? so like 
Uh, Mike Bass, hasn't every Toronto keeper been screwed by the defense and that's been put in front of him? Bono suffered the same and now looks okay at DC. Does he look okay at DC? <laughs> Let's think about yes, that. what happened last night here. I don't watch DC games. Aside from last night, though, like DC has been pretty okay. Does he look okay at DC? I mean, he hasn't made oh, any you saves. You're the DC guy. You're Actually, DC guy. he made a few saves, but like most of it's the defense in front of him. Ibano's not really done that much, to be fair, which is why I'm still not okay. out on Tyler Miller yet. It's still it's still take a flyer on Tyler Miller time. It's still take a flyer on Tyler Miller time, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't know oh, who's going to be go. the coach's guy because Tyler Miller's never been healthy with this coach. Is he um, like two bucks too? Yeah, just pick him he's up. He's super not? cheap, so yeah. I, I think it's worth a worth the risk for sure. Because I don't think Bono's been special. And especially if they're gonna, if they're gonna have a downturn in form right before he comes back, then yeah, good see a switch. There you go. Mm-hmm. Tyler, buy, stock up on Tyler Miller. Yeah, see the decent defense at DC makes Bono look better. Toronto needs better yes. defense. Toronto does not have that. Toronto has okay Uh-oh. defense as long as like Long and O'Neal are there, and Lorea comes and the back balls in the other half of the field point. <laughs> with Insigne Bernadeschi. <laughs> Or they well, don't like, to have be to defend fair, that much. Flores and Coelho are two pretty good defensive midfielders, so that's what helps them a lot too. Also, if you look at Flores' uh, <laughs> scores, uh, you could see exactly where I want him because it's just been down since All then. Down. So, Who's scores? You're welcome, <laughs> Flores. Who's Flores. I went Dude. Flores, and it was immediately mm. the error led to goal, and it's just been stinkers ever since. So, apologies, guys. I'm sorry, it's my fault. If you want, if but uh, if you want a clip of what Brad Guzan has been doing for the last year, watch what just watch what just happened. He sat in the middle of the goal the whole time. Five people flew their bodies at the ball, and then someone just chipped it right to him, and he just fell on the ground and grabbed it. That's just literally solid what, goalkeeper. That's just all he does. And yes, <laughs> he is like the the most clean sheets or like third most clean sheets. Yeah, fewest goals allowed in the MLS so far. There you go. That's all you got to do. It's all it's all awareness. It's all. It's all positioning and footwork and goal. And Guzan's the guy. He he don't dive much. He can't dive that far. But hey, if you're in the right place at the right time. You don't got to dive at all. You know, that's it. Cheeky, cheeky, cheat code. Oh, uh, when you good. got per, a person on each three, post, you're good. There was three nil nils in this game, guys. There was three three snoozers. They're all kind of surprising too, because they're uh, pretty decent teams. Mm, they weren't all surprising. I just New York, Chicago. Uh, wasn't like, that surprising. All like Columbus uh, is surprising. Is it surprising though? Yeah, I mean, outside of maybe Chicho scoring, oh, but like Columbus is going to rotate. Columbus had two keepers in in that game, and we also like still couldn't score. Like, yeah, well, Col- I mean, Columbus fully rotated. Zawadzki's back. Shout out to Zawadzki. Shout out to Will Adminson, Sands is dude. back. Look at look at look at all these guys coming back. Adminson, Adminson is, with a hundred. Aiden, he's Morris, making his hey. price look okay. Adminson is making his price look okay now. Nah, actually, I don't know. Look, he's a he's smasher goalkeeper. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of a smasher. But Real Salt Lake just couldn't 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 get it done. Another stinker from Diego Luna. I don't know what's wrong. Ticho, whatever, cooling off. He's had a great season so far. It is what it is. Stinker of a match. Uh, I don't think there's anything to take away from this match, right? It's just Concacaf hangover. It's just getting by with a point. That's the best best case scenario for Columbus, and we move on. Yeah, man. you take that as Columbus. Yeah, and anybody that ran, you do take that. New York Red Bull that... and Chicago Fire. New York Red Bulls keeping the clean sheet. I called this one. <laughs> Y'all doubted. Y'all doubted. I think more surprisingly, Did... Chris Brady are. kept a clean sheet. Didn't Chicago hit the post a couple times? I don't know. I was Probably. half watching this game too. I had four games on. And like this was maybe ten percent of my attention span. Um, I didn't see the red. Haven't card, you though. learned? Haven't you learned that anytime you have multiple games on, you actually end up watching none of them? Like, no, I, just, I actually was watching, but work. it was just it was just our game. It was the Riverhounds game, and that wasn't worth watching either. So, yeah. Did you guys win a, a game yet? We have still not scored more than one goal. Did you lose another another nil nil draw? Hey, points. So yeah, points we're are points. still dead last. At least league. you didn't lose. Yeah, at least just we didn't like lose. the New York Red Bulls, Chicago Fire. <laughs> at least you didn't 
lose. At least we didn't uh, lose. Quiet game from both of these teams. Um, surprising. I would have thought that Red Bulls would have been able to do something at home. Um, they got a least. red card fairly early. Dude, fair. Lewis Morgan, look at that, dude. Yeah, this is Lewis Morgan, guys. Yeah, I don't 42 know minutes. So. Why? I don't this know what, why we're Boomer confused. Because, like, yeah, Lewis Morgan's either going to score... <laughs> Two, three goals, or like have a couple assists and, and put up a seventy, or he's gonna. Have well, I found Benteke's so. big chances missed. They're in this. Dude, I think right a, I think Agata may hit, Agata may hit three big chances missed in that in our game. We already went over that one. We we can't go back to that. Now. I was just I just pointing out if we're gonna talk about. <laughs> Should have mentioned that. It. And what happened to the Seattle Sounders? We said, hey, they they learned how to score goals. They just scored Shout five. Paolo's uh, not back yet. Yeah, Paolo Shout didn't Paolo's play full ninety. Yet. Remember we they said scored. that's when they're going to become a different breed? The whole, they scored five without him, so why couldn't they do it with Dallas, who is a very, very rough team? And, dude, honestly... Also, Dallas with Dallas. no Nikosi Tafari, too. That is true. Yeah, a lot, a lot of drama behind hey. that. If, if you're in the Major League So Rare Discord, you'd get all all the news. Germ, shout out to Germ. And uh, what is it? Daniel Brubaker. I don't want to mess up yeah. his name, but another yeah. big Dallas guy is always holding it down in the Discord. Dude, they Iller Mendy's well, back, though. That's good. That's good for Dallas, that Iller Mendy's back. Yeah. Hey, let's step help. in the right direction. <laughs> uh, so what? Are we are we back down? Are we back down on chart or on Seattle? Or are we just kind of writing this off? No, they're kind of like at a they're at a plateau right now, and they're gonna, you know, go up just once Powell. May hits. That's it. They're just gonna come back when Jar Paulo and when May hits. Yeah, it this is an August team. Like this yeah. is like the Timbers. They don't believe in playing until august yeah once the then playoff, they'll, finish, yeah. they'll finish first anyway it's fine once the playoff ads start coming pop it up on tvs that's when they actually start playing simple as that yeah is that what it yeah is that what it is that's exactly what it is yeah there there, there were a lot there are a lot of scoreless games this game week. it was it was a weird game week i feel like like matches we thought were lopsided were just all over the place teams that we thought would have a good like charlotte charlotte three two to toronto i don't think any of us expected that one Nope. Uh, yeah. So well, there, I mean, there's a lot. Of I didn't nonsense. think those teams you. would score that many goals this whole season, dude. If you want, if you want a team that you can watch that we'll there's going to be entertainment and goals, sporting, hey, twenty goals in the last four games. Yeah, got, they don't believe in defense. Either yeah, way. so you're not going to get a clean sheet, but you get entertainment, and that's all we care about. We'll get a clean sheet next week. Thank you, Timmy Emilia. It was a, it was a weird weekend. Because Cincinnati dude, couldn't even get it done in Montreal Impact. Montreal continued to create chaos. The chaos. We said they were on a long road trip. They're home. They got to cuddle their dogs. And all of a sudden, they found their winning ways again against the Cincinnati team. We've said it. If Lucha ain't making it happen, it ain't happening for this team. He did make it happen to Kubo, who Chris famously was very down on, who pushed back so hard on the Kubo train. But Alex said, no, we love yeah, Kubo. Yeah, because he's and he continues you Kubo playing right time. back for him. Look where he's he, at now, number nine. The Swiss Army he's their Knife substitute. Kubo. He's their substitute everything. They've apparently sold Corey Baird to the bench, and now they have literally nobody else to play striker. Except Kubo, play striker. Better than Corey Baird. That's where we're at now. Better than Corey Baird, Imagine not that. MLS quality. Corey Baird goes from Houston. Goes from Open Cup winning Houston, Corey Baird, okay, to Cincinnati, to the bench for Kubo, who isn't even a striker. People are so high on him, on too. Scoring. They were really love- high on Baird. I mean, Kubo was brought in as a DP striker. To be fair, he was, and Joseph Martinez, so, dude. Okay, I don't think anybody bench, was Joseph high Martinez. on Baird. Eh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought people were. They were like, they were like, oh, this is the number nine they need. They finally get one. Nope. But yeah, Corey, Joseph Martinez no. off the bench. I, if Joseph anybody's Martinez saying, "Oh, Corey Baird, he's our guy. He's gonna solve our problems," need to get new glasses because that's what I heard. He Maybe it's just the MLS analysts because they just know he's a they just know, oh, goal. American striker. Corey Baird is no MLS, Brandon Vasquez. No. He ain't no Brian White, okay? All right. He ain't no Shout Brian out. White. This but is yeah. this is Corey Baird we're talking about. As I was saying though, but, Joseph uh, Martinez off the bench is the scariest player in the entire league. Yeah. Do not hurt Montreal forwards in the first half. It does not work. You're gonna get cooked. <laughs> you're gonna get sixty minutes of Joseph sub. It doesn't work well, guys. And you're gonna lose the game. Like this is yes. like three or four games See? that this has happened now. Baird is who we thought he was, okay? And occasionally, poo doesn't smell. <laughs> Very rare. But sometimes it just doesn't smell. And then it changes teams, and all of a sudden, it smells again. So, 
Nuobodo did we are. Horrible Rest this game, which is good. Nuobodo not looking horrible. Nuobodo did good step in the book. He did show some life. And it is out. Also, I picked up an too. Oriano card. I realized that he had forward cards, and I picked one up the other day. Um, cheat, dude. It was like it was like two dollars, but a two dollar forward card that can sometimes score hasn't really shown up yet, but maybe will. Not a bad buy. He's and supposed it, to be the buy. It was, all it was decent this week. So. Little, Another little two dollar cheeky fifty. Another two dollar forward yes. card. Ar- Ariel Lassite. I don't know. Or Ariel Lassiter. I don't know how you say it. he's Canadian. Lassiter. Yeah. Lassiter. He finally is doing some. Oh, yeah. Really? The the big news from this game is Alec Con so, is yes starting over Laura. Although I don't know that that's final, so I wouldn't see Stoke. So rare. Watch all of us scoop them up. They're like, no, 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 no. We got we got to make them suffer a little bit. We got to make them suffer a week, a little sweat a little week, and then uh, Alec Con is finally back. So. I did not sell my Evan Bush go, after he got named the so... starting lineup. Should have done that. Should have done that. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Um, how are we feeling? Where are we on Montreal here? Uh, are we are we believers in them or are we still wait and see? Because they because they've they've made some things happen so yeah. far. They're okay. They're they're decent. good. And they have Joe Waterman. Yeah, yeah. he should have been sent off again. I think <laughs> probably. And also, didn't watch, hey, didn't watch the game, but I'm just assuming. Shout out, got it right here. Yeah, beautiful. Jersey. Um, but yeah, they're a solid team. I mean, I don't want to play them away, and when they come to your city, it's like it's an okay matchup, but not a great one, you know. So, middle of the road, they'll fight for a playoff spot. Yeah. It's one of those. It's, it's one of those teams that you almost like don't want to play your players against because it's like you don't know what's gonna happen. Like it could anything could happen. You're either gonna get blown out, or you're just gonna watch them roll over. And it's just yeah, you don't know if you want to play them or play against them. <laughs> yeah you don't want to fade him or like go after him and it's 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 one of those tough teams but hey there, there's something special in there and uh we'll see as the season goes on we'll see how they do and where they go from here and shout out to atlanta and philly who have played a nil nil 40 minutes so far they are definitely the spoiler team score. you are correct cm star they're about to score this corner score wait for it anyway New York City boys, both of y'all. Y'all are hype on the New York City train. You got your collections. You got your oh, things yeah. against this New England team who just continues to continue. All those boats in the harbor, sinking. They are just All sinking. The tea's getting they are spilled. just there, down. Oh, so much And tea not in, in a good way. And Dewan Jones got hurt. That's <laughs> tragic. Dude, I just, I just got one, too. I'm so mad. I did a little trade with Powell, just getting rid of my crap. And I was like, yeah, we'll get a little Dewan Jones. Got Why? hurt. So definitely need... Why, dude? I'm buying. I'm buying low, man. I'm just buying low on players that do okay. Yeah, I mean he's he's, he's a decent player. Episode, like he's a good player mm-hmm. when everything's rolling. It's just not right now. So pick him up for a dollar, <laughs> whatever, dude. R.I.P. the Gills. Oh no, dude, who's gonna is win there, the knot, Oh though? no. Is there a third heel brother? Because I feel like we need more heels in New England, or else there's that I mean, one. Uh, in trouble. There was this defender who used to play for Corinthians. I think he retired. His name was Heel. I don't know what he's up to now. Get him out of retirement. Sit bring Romney. Him up, bring him up to the revs. But yeah, dude, Matt Freeze, dude, big game. That's what we need to see from him a lot more. Dude, all of you. If we great scores. He... If we would have got a Santi uh, decisive too, so that would have been nice. Actual question here about New England. Dylan Barrera is coming back imminently. When he comes back, who sits? Is it Nacho? Because I feel like it's probably Nacho. I don't think they said Sean Kalai. They love Nacho, though. Carlos said he has to play for me to be still a part of this club. That's is it Brioni? Oh, no. I mean, Bri- like, Barrero's got to play. Barrero's just too good, especially with their woes right now. Dude, knowing Caleb Porter, I don't Porter, think Barrero he just can might... play striker, though. That's the problem. He might just not play him, knowing Caleb Porter. You might just have him off the bat. Yeah, I don't... You think so? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I Rioni, that's a really like, good question. It really is. Rioni's been kind of picking it up a little bit, but still not viable yet. I don't think. I think he it's like, well, like you got to think goals too, like, in a five nothing loss. Like that's not picking it up. I mean, he's gotten goals though. Things he used to not do that. But things aren't working in New England, so you got to think like if someone's coming back from injury, you just throw them out there and try something else, right? Like, oh, rip your bl- it's one of those rip things. Your where, Blake, like, by the way, <laughs> oh no, don't He's tell me hurt. that. <laughs> yeah. 
He's time wasting trying to get to halftime. What are you talking about? They got Shem layup in Mormon. None of that. But anyway, um, how are we? Where are we on the hot seat in New York City? Are we still like cushing out? Are we like, oh, you guys are figuring it out? Has it just been favorable matchups? You guys have been following this team closely. Uh, where are we? We at? love New York City. We love Yankee Stadium. We love Yankee Stadium. We still hate Nick Cushing. He still yeah. is not going to figure it out. They're still going to fire him at some point, but you can't really fire him after a win. So that kind of sucks. Which, hey. Part part of me wants them to lose a few more games so they do fire them and then we actually get real New York City. But <laughs> not happening right now. A, hey, l- a little a little addition by subtraction. Yeah, stacks are exactly. the stacks are looking good, which is really good. We still I don't think Talos Magna is he even getting an EPT. Do we know? Yeah, he's he's not uh, alive right now. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get sold sold in the summer. Yeah, and uh, but haven't they said that every summer, and then just never got sold. No, but like he's like he's gonna force his way out at this point. Oh, like, yeah, he's not gonna stay there. Come to Sporty, we need a third striker. <laughs> when McNamara is getting minutes, him, things have gone terribly wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, that's the and Spalding. Sign. That's <laughs> and the sign. Else? We got Spalding back there. We got McNamara. Lima. Oh man, Nick Lima. Oh, Nick man. Lima's this a starter. Team. Yeah. Yeah. Problems in paradise. At least days, at least Omar Gonzalez died in is gone. That is true. Omar At least. Yep. Blake's getting subbed out. Oh, man. Oh. Blake's getting subbed out. Well, is he really? Bro. Yep. Yikes. Dude, rest in peace, Andre Blake, man. For better or for worse, he's just been struggling Whoa. this season. Rest in peace, my already dead in-season competition. <laughs> Dude, he's already dead. He, like, he, claimed the, he high claimed the ball oh, and then man. just tossed it out of bounds. So it's like, yeah. Let's see what it was. Well, that's pulled fun. Something Congratulations on the, to something all those on a, Blake holders. On a kick. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, there's another goalkeeper down and out. Just like my game. You can't stop making errors. <sighs> you know who else is out, though? <laughs> William Yarborough with his big old zero. San Jose scoring all the goals in weeks prior at home. Said, me, I don't feel like scoring today. And you know what? The Colorado Rapids... They're back. <laughs> can can we get can we get a shout out for all the revenge games for goalkeepers this week so that went horribly Dude, wrong? Reverse revenge games are going. Yeah, Yarbro in Colorado, Grupo with LAFC just didn't work at all. Blake in Atlanta. Did he go? Was he in Atlanta? No, he just uh, he just wanted to win, and now he's just not going to win. Wasn't he complaining <laughs> about the turf or something down there? Yeah, the the turf got him, dude. It actually did. <laughs> the, oh, turf the, turf the turf fights back. The turf monster. Brooks Lennon told him he's like back. he was talking to him pregame. Turf, you got to take him out so we can score. <laughs> no, I don't think anybody's um, looking for the Bendik days. <laughs> what, I don't think what do anybody. We think, what do we think what about, about JT Markowski uh, days? That could be possible. Oh God. What do we think about Cole Bassett? Because he's quietly putting together a really nice season. If you like go look at his his numbers, he's like you know I, I think he's like seventy ish average. I want to say is that true? Sixty seven. Are they all decisives? Like he's he's quietly putting together a really nice campaign so far. Oh no, no. yeah, that's 30, actually 36 good. AA, forty three yeah. AA, twenty seven AA. He's kind of he's kind of cooking on this Colorado team. We're like, look. The hype, the hype was real at the beginning of the season. We said, oh, my God, Colorado's spending money. And they brought in all these players that everybody's heard of before. And everybody was like, yeah, Colorado. And it took a little rough. But like, like we've seen with multiple teams in multiple years in the major league soccer, in the soccer of the major leagues, it takes some time to adapt. It takes some time to get all these pieces to gel together and work together and do their thing. And all of a sudden, it seems like Colorado can't do that. And Cole Bassett seems to be a really big part of that. Shout out are, Cole are Bassett. We, are we, are we, Chris, you is he U23? You you got an eye for these types of players, or yes. Yes, he until is. 2026, for too. A while too. Wow. Uh, he's about to go buy wow. one. I, I still think he's too expensive, <laughs> to be fair. But well, 50, it's worth $50 for a cheeky rare. It's not horrible. Yeah, for, no, for a it's, midfielder. There's too many midfielders. Unless you're actually playing U23, I think I feel like there's I feel like there's probably better options. But 
Yeah. ZM Stars is best finally in the right position. He is playing the 10. So, and those scores are good, man. They're fun. And not only that, but they're home to Dallas next week. Away to Cincinnati is rough. Away to NYCFC, depending on where it is, is rough. Somebody look it up. At home too. <laughs> Somebody look it up. Are they at Yankee Earthquake Stadium? Sh- I don't know. Yarborough Revenge of the Revenge game. <laughs> the, game revenge the, revenge. <laughs> the Revenge Revenge. The Revenge. Get ready. <laughs> revenge of the revenge game. Yeah, I don't know, man. Cold, nice. cold Bassett. Just Colorado in general, man. Like, I know we've been asking questions. We're like, are they? Are they not? They've gotten some good results. They've made some things happen. Wow, there it is. There you have it. Your Colorado. Shout out, are you guys buying low Shout out Navarro, Colorado? dude. Shout Navarro, Navarro scored his first Shout- goal from the run of play, I think, for Colorado. Nice. Hey, Bombito, dude. I I said he's not. He's not that bad. He's and the he's, fastest yeah. player in the league. I know he had the. We had to talk about and. Dude, it used to be Huon. Now it's Bombito. Look at that. RP, that's that's the but only no thing Huon had to show from no, his entire okay. MLS career. <laughs> Gotta go fast, Huon. That's all he's good for. Huon. Huon but go fast. uh yeah, che- cheeky little Colorado. Cheeky little Colorado. Are you guys buying in on Colorado yet? Or are you guys staying away? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Staying away. I don't know that I'm bought in yet, but I'm definitely monitoring. See, at, at this point, I don't think they have the defensive acumen to really start to push up. But, like, they're scoring goals. So, you yeah. know, you take those. They this is their first, be... first clean sheet of the year. so They could we'll genuinely see. be, like, a solid option. And they could make the playoffs, too. So, yeah. Maybe the rebuild isn't too bad. What was... Uh, ZMStar wants to know what Yule's AA was for that game. I think he threw up an 80 without a decisive. So I have five. nothing wanting to load for me right now, so I have no idea, my guy. I'm going to guess we'll pull it up. Or I one of these you. guys. One of my I friends you. will pull it up. Uh, spelling the word Yule is going to be a little bit difficult. Y-U-E. No, we got some more people in here. Yeah, Daniel. Really Daniel, what's up? Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Yo, Blitz is back Y-U-E-I-L. in the chat. Says, yo, guys, Ooh. thanks for the advice on so rare. I also got my friends to sign up and spend five dollars so I can get those referral coupons. Unfortunately, didn't buy cards in time to play this weekend, but we'll get there. We'll get There's there. Next weekend. Glad you're back. Glad yeah. you're having Don't fun forget to so set like the rest of us because it is it is a good time and there is. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I sold my baseball collection because I kept forgetting to set my lineup. So, so well, Jackson you got on exactly yet, yet. forty-five, dude. All I from knew it. eighty-six Ooh. accurate. Weren't passes. y'all trashing on Jackson Ewell like last week? No, that was tripping. Wasn't someone just trashing on Ewell? Like, yeah, we long ago? basically tripping said ah. he can't sustain this, and, and then he sustained it and did more. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's one game now. You know, let's let's not go. He just crazy. needed he just needed the DNP so then he could. Get ready to prove tripping wrong. He got the red card on purpose to prove tripping wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm a hundred percent. Did you miss any Andre Blake talk? Yes, he yes. he's dead. He died. Go white he as died. we watched him go down. Yeah. He died. When I should have sold him forever ago, like everybody said. Everybody said sell Blake, and I was like, no, because you don't want to buy Vagner. And, and here we are. Because look, man, goalkeepers are hard to come by, and when you got goalkeepers, you just you just keep stacking them so they can play more competitions. But Selling not like it matters now because he ain't playing. Selling by five mealies. That's not that hard. Listen, I already have like three gay aces, and that's not working out too good for me. So, <laughs> buy Zach Steffen now. Yeah, I'll buy um, one of your gay aces. About, I'll buy one of them too. Five dollars. About. And, uh, uh, I'll trade you a Joe Willis uh, player edition. Uh. Sorry, they're part of my uh, four-year running of my number one limited collector uh, card, so uh, no. Yeah, four years running, undefeated. Undisputed. Champion gonna, of the world. They're never going to give us uh, collection bonus gifts. <laughs> and they're never going to give us signed jerseys for them. Nope. <sighs> That's all I want. I just, I want four I just years. Want Johnny Russell, all that Johnny money Russell that I've burned away. And you can't give me a 10th year anniversary signed jersey from Orlando City. That's all I want. I want that jersey. It's so sick. I put it on the wall right over there. Beautiful, like spot right open. Perfect. Mm. Mm. You love to see it. 
Yeah, at this point, why haven't we anybody bought Semi? If Andre Blake's going to keep going on this nonsense. He's 20 yeah, bucks now, so you're too Is this price like... No, no, there's none on market. Uh, yep, they bought Everybody bought them all. Yeah. Good luck yeah, with Instabuy. Daniel, you and me both, brother. I got you. I'll wait you. There's no yet. <laughs> you're never going to buy him. He's never going to pop up. We'll cry sad tears together, buddy. <laughs> oh, Lord. <sighs> what? Oh, that's Twitter. Who's on Twitter? Wow, you're Yo, on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Out with us? Must be nice. Yeah. The Houston Dynamo, the Ben Olsons. Dude, Take Robin Minnesota. Robin they don't Lowe, care dude. if Minnesota's on top. I don't remember if Lowe. I bought a load or not, or Powell yeah, sent me you... a terrible offer and I declined it, but I wanted to. Well, too late. I messed up. Um, I messed up. Maybe? Question mark. Is it Ethan Bartlow season with Spiachenko going down? Dude. Question mark. It's Franco Escobar season if Bar- he decides to play. Hasn't Bartlow been cut like been quiet? Barlow's like, not season? terrible. He's he not scored a goal in the like, championship. But he's Cup, also not a starter. So like it's hard to trust him. But with C yes. going down again, maybe maybe oh. he's in there. Oh, that's that's not that bad. That's good it's decent AA. I mean twenty six AA, eighteen AA, it's it's decent. It it is decent. Thirty two AA right here. And this this was Champions Cup, I think. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So I don't know. Cheeky. I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe, someone to watch. maybe. Maybe. That's a good shout. He he's like every time you watch a Houston game or you watch a broadcast or anything, like his name kind of gets thrown around, and you're like, ooh, ah. But like again, like not being a full on starter, it's kind of hard to bite that bullet. But there's something in the water in Houston that they cannot stay healthy. Like I don't know what it is, and like poor poor Houston this year. But dude, I tough, think that's at uh, I think that's at U23, right? What Barlow? Mm, yes, I think I, that's what I just saw. Probably about yes, that yes, age. Yes. But uh, good good result for Houston, man. I know I've I've personally been a little down on Houston, not out on Houston, but Sutton don't really trust it most times. But they continue to get it done. And Minnesota just rough rough, rough day for Minnesota. They were a little sad. They were they were up mourning Reynoso Reynoso. They were they were mourning the loss of their brethren, and they couldn't He's get only, it done today. Barlow's only U twenty three till June. No. So. no. Hey, Lude, Lude is taking his scores, though. So if you want Reynoso for $2. Robin Lude, we've been talking about Robin Lude. He said he was going to be the guy. And Bongi continues to start and doing Dude, nothing. He just doesn't exist. Uh, Bongi is not sucks, real. Man. That sucks. That sucks. Because there's so much potential in Bongi, right? Like you watch Bongi play, you've seen what he could do, the scores that he does, like the goals that he creates for himself. Not even that. Like he can do it for himself. And it's just, I don't know. He just starts and he just doesn't, doesn't do it. Doesn't. Go ahead. You look like you're gonna say something. I was gonna just say that like Bong you does not exist anymore. Like he's not real. He just goes on there, pops mm-hmm. out of 32, and then gets subbed out in the 70th minute. That's just what happens <laughs> every single game. You can go look at the previous games. Hey. It's literally that every single game. I will say though, saying Ben finally having a good kind of score on Sober, and for sure knowing that Reynoso is gone, it's little easier to take a gamble on him where hasn't really been productive on so5 but he is going to be the guy on this team and I mean who else is going to take that spot and with Renoso for sure out so uh a little cheeky someone to look into Maybe? and shout out Latif blessing starting with Latif blessing starting too love did to he? see that yeah oh wow he did look at that shout out Latif MLS legend in the house how are you feeling Chris you you just, you were kind of you were pointing out saying Ben earlier in the year. I'm just still thinking about Ethan Bartlow. I haven't moved on yet. <laughs> I have a little color rainbow. I'm just looking. Um, no, I think saying Ben interesting player. Don't know that I feel. I don't know that he'll be relevant so rare wise though. I don't think he has right. enough. Yeah, umph in his game to really be worth buying. But like, not a bad actual on field player. He can make things happen. One day. Yeah. One day. I was like, he oh, did. I saw a 47. I was like, whoa, look, he did it. He did a thing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah that's Just got to point it out. Green score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Congratulations. <laughs> it took you this long to finally do it. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. Uh, Blitz over here saying he got half of his stuff 50% off. Soares for 25, Tolkien for 10, Rubio for 4, and Lewis Morgan for 5. That all sounds. Oh, yeah. Soares yeah, is a good Lewis buy Morgan now. Yeah, that's interesting. Years. Soares is a good buy right now. Who's your keeper? Who'd you get? We'll find out and give it like. We told him to get Melia. 
Let's see if he listens. So we know he has that Melia. I'm pretty sure he still has that Melia. So let's go. There, there you are. There you have it. I know I saw Mike Basson bring it up at some point earlier. I gotta, I gotta go look for it somewhere. He said it earlier, and I knew we were gonna get to this game. We were gonna leave it to the end of the night. And I apologize for not watching this game. I really wanted to watch this game, but Columbus mm. and RSL literally put me to sleep. We didn't get to. <laughs> that didn't game get to was watch so boring. The beautiful. That I didn't get to watch Vancouver and LA Galaxy. So, so Mike, Bassett this was wants like to know about Ali Ahmed. Uh, is he worth purchasing? Uh, he's just, just started starting, which is weird. Yeah, like I, I think he just his first start was last week or the week before, and he's done good. Raposo did start though; he's not off the bench, so he couldn't get decisive. It's only off the bench when he can get decisive. Joseph Martinez Jr. <laughs> yep. Um, there was somebody. Oh, did somebody no. get hurt in this game? Fafa. Fafa Pico. That's what I wanted to point out. Yeah. Fafa Pico got mm, hurt. Great. And uh, Vite came in, and that's an interesting one. Um, we did get the Brian White to yeah. Gould, though. Yeah, first we did get that first directly, one too. Yep. This was a nil nil game in like the 60th minute or something like that. And then, yeah, and <laughs> literally. And yep. I, I was sitting there thinking, like, oh, we were idiots. We thought this was going to be an offensive stack. And then <laughs> you look at the end of the night, and it's like, yep, offensive stack. It's just fine. Everything worked out. It's all good. John McCarthy got a clean sheet, basically. Sort of. Count it. Sort of. Hey, might as, might as well. Mike Baston, we got you. You know it. But, yeah, I, I'm actually very upset. I was really stoked to watch this. It's going to be my nightcap. I was out. I was out at the pool all day, so it was a beautiful day. I was ready to finish it off with Vancouver and LA Galaxy. Put on the RSL Columbus game while I was waiting for that. And mm. Fell asleep, and that was the end of that. And I woke up, I watched the highlights, and I was like, no! This looked like a really fun game. It looked it looked back and forth. If you go back and watch the highlights, like there was a lot of really good chances. Brian White had multiple chances. It was just looked like it was end-to-end -end the entire game. And then, yeah, like all the goals came in like the last like, 20, 25 minutes of the game, which is wild so it made for a wild ending and then yeah i don't know i don't know what happened to the white caps they were doing good all game and then they just kind of rolled over at the end and it was just it was just too much they scored first too they have the lead i'm mm -hmm. pretty sure i didn't get to watch mm -hmm. it because i was watching they ufc did. so i mean I was yeah pooch, pooch was sat on like a 40 for a long time and then just kind of went nuts which i needed dude that that pass from Puj, it was a, uh, it was almost like very identical to the Yaya Boa goal in MLS Cup final that, that we were at. Mm. And it happened right in front of us. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, he just did. Painstill just bombed down the wing and just up the middle. Puj, I don't know where he saw it. I don't know who he saw it. Aliens told him what was going to happen before it happened, and bang! What a pass! What a goal! Ricky Puj, Painstill, what my Pooch dude? Smile. Even Peck, even Peck. Peck had a had one really 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 good shot that should have been a goal uh, off the post. Um, did this team was cooking? They all were. They Bro. all were. It was a really really fun game. Perfect way to end the night. Uh oh, this Give is painful. Oh no no Trubin. This is such a good matchup. Oh, oh no. no oh no that is painful, bro. And you got the Tillman captain. Dang. Heck yeah. Oh. That sucks. 327 oh. from four. You're feeling good. I'm going to get nothing out of this lineup now. Rest in peace. You that. literally just needed him to start. I just needed him to play, and I'm going to tier three. And a clean sheet is a tier two. Damn. That sucks. That's why we love oh. this game. Who Dude. wants a Trubin? He's getting sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Why? No. You're a that goalkeeper. Sucks. You don't need to rotate. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Stay Benfica have put a full it. second string out. That Benfica Bro. rotation is real. Uh, uh, real quick, Vic, who was here early but didn't hear our Kansas City talk. Hmm. How did Fontes and Polito do? You're muted, my guy. Fontes is right here with me and Polito. They're both right here if you want to talk to him. They didn't do anything. So there you go. <laughs> they didn't do a single like Polito. You can watch, you can look at Twitter and like in person, dude, he did nothing like legitimately nothing. And then Fontas, he had like a some Fontas things, but he didn't really do much. It was Rosero like basically charging up and down the field and anything that fell to Fontas's feet, he would just boot out. And so next week, though, against St. Louis, I can see the sporting stacks being very beneficial.
Sporting, sporting. I don't know if it's just because like I hear you show them every week to me, where I'm just like, man, I feel like I need more sporting guys in my team. You do. Like, I can't tell if it's like they're really good or it's just you, just in my ear, like every day. Just dude, sporting you see how has, many goals we can score. Sporting has always been a really good AA team. Like mm-hmm. they've always, all of them produce AA. It's like anytime anybody scores, it's like an eighty. It's like it's been that way for years. Yeah, we're so, like what LA they're is. They're always super cheap because they're in the middle of nowhere and nobody likes them. I'm just happy you're here, buddy. I'm just messing with you. I don't, I don't, I don't expect anybody. If you're to be watching here, the replay to hope to watch Fontester Polito, it's not just watch the messy goal and the. Tommy I think he means he's going to watch the replay of us. Oh, I didn't talk about them. Replays. I don't think I talked about them in the thing either because there wasn't much to talk about. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Hey, dude, Polito did have the fresh mushroom stamp haircut. No fade, still. Yikes. Yeah, baby. Full, full. That's, that's a full blown Mexican thing, man. I don't, I don't know what it is. You couldn't catch me with it, but I understand it. I, I do. I thought we were almost done. I thought we did good. We were doing great on time. But who would I be to forget the darlings, Don Garbers, darlings of the MLS, LAFC, Charlotte? and those are Chris's scores. The Portland, Portland Timbers, two two Timothy draw. Tillman MVP. Dude, Timothy Tillman continues to do it. Shout out. Bob Flynn, Orange Fly, who slid into my DMs and was like, hey, should I be buying Timothy Tillman? Like, what is this about? $102 for his rare. Dude, I really got to ask the question now because it is really concerning. Like, is this sustainable at this point? I know LAFC has changed. Timothy Tillman is now their go-to attacking midfielder, right? It might be. Not not for his five, it's not sustainable for anybody, period. Like, at his peak, Carlos Heel was like a 70 so no, he is not better than Pete Carlos Heel. Okay, but I'm talking like asking. all of this. Like, is all of this like? Are we gonna get? Because if you look back, if you look back a little bit, it ain't that great, right? This yeah. this ain't this ain't as fun as this. I'm saying, is this sustainable? Not so much this. Is he gonna go back to this? He'll probably, probably be not, right? like. He'll probably be like a very good midfield option. Like he's put himself in that tier now because of how he's been playing and right. like the role they have him in. I, I like you saying no one's gonna be that good for ever, and so yeah, he's gonna have a drop off soon enough. But I'm not talking I mean, last five. I'm talking last fifteen. Realistically, yeah. I'm not buying now. He's too high, but his scores are gonna stay there. So if he did buy, yeah, good. Take the last good four games out. Are you okay with this? Yeah, yeah sort for of. a midfielder. For a midfielder, Kinda? is this expensive? Hell no. Like okay, to, but. To Alex's point, like this is way too expensive for a guy that, yeah, yeah, he's got the last four games where he's been pumping out, but like he's only got one game of like twenty five plus AA, right? And all, but his but his role is different in this game though. Like his role in this team is way different. Like it's more it's more on his shoulders to like make it happen in the midfield than it was in years previous. I think. Yeah, him and out to West they, they have a lot bigger role this year. I right. get and that. I saying, but center mids are not going to get four decisives in a row. They're just not. He's a center mid. Remember, you said this about Raposo, and Raposo's gotten a decisive every game besides. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to pull up Raposo? Because <laughs> <laughs> <It's, it's, laughs> I will. Can we pull up who has the highest decisive per ninety? He might be like number one. Yeah, uh, that's. This is Raposo. Okay, but but in general, like the actual conversation I want to have is like, so are we just waiting? For his price to come down, well, we'll pull up, pull up Pillman's price. Actually, I think we're if selling. He, I think you are selling. Right I, now. I think especially if, if you have if the you rare, still have him. I think we're selling at this point. Rare, especially, yeah. Get eighty bucks out of him now. Yeah, get so he's a hundred and two floor, so you might be able to get more. Yeah, then definitely. But yeah, mm-hmm. we're selling this because like this, you can get really good players with this. Ooh, you got the you got the Cavs in the fir- in the first round of the playoffs. That's official. Oh, did we win? Did yes, we beat, you did. Did we beat the Bucks today? Yes. Hey. Let's go. Can we, uh, Can we play the song? Someone play the play song. The song. Or, yeah, let's play, play the song. I don't it. have it pulled up. Someone pull, pull it up. I don't think play mine plays song. music. Screw the MLS. Orlando Magic are massive. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. I got yelled at when I pulled up a baseball team. Hold on. Yeah, screw baseball. Let's go. I'm pulling Dude, it up. And- Dude, Donovan Mitchell has been on the dump since he got injured, too. We might actually make it out of the first round. Even though defensively, they're really good, and I don't see how we outscore them multiple times in this series. 
So it'll probably be short lived. But right now, we're all vibes, baby. Let's go back into the playoffs after like seven years. Love to see it. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. Are you playing it? Are you playing the song? Do you have it pulled up? We can't hear anything. Can you hear it? No. Nope. Damn. You shared the wrong screen. I'm pretty sure Jorge has to play it. I don't think I don't think I can. Because my, my sound doesn't ever come through either. No. No, 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 no. You love it though. Look at look at that. Oh, so good though. Oh, Dude, we got the Knicks got the two. So, That's wild. Moving forward, we need to upload the song as a sound effect so that we can have it whenever we need it. Ooh, get the stream. That's deck. a that's a note for the producer there. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm we're sorry. gonna play we're gonna play probably the Heat or the Sixers. We're cooked. <laughs> oh man. Welcome to the end of the show where we're gonna start talking NBA. Hey, it's a so rare product. This is so rare in the States, in right? The we're state. not too far off. None it's of that baseball state. nonsense. I could already see it in Chris's face. He wants to complain about something. <laughs> no, I'm happy. Jose Altuve is going ham. So Yo, let's go Pelican. single-handedly keeping me in the money right now. Are you gonna win Yo, can... more ETH? Yeah. Nice. Can I say that the Pelicans are low-key dark horses in the West this year? And if things go good for them in the first round, I think the Pelicans. A Pelican is a, a bird, song. and I know that. It is. It is. Don't don't you give me that look, Alex. Don't give me that look. The Pelicans are fun, man. Let's not talk about the Pelicans, Pelicans are... and playoffs and good in the same sentence. I think at one point the Pelicans were the Hornets. <laughs> yes, they were. Yes, they, they got, were. I know look that. at you. Look at you. I'm go. pretty sure the Pelicans are in Louisiana, but I could be wrong. That's good. Zion was good sure until they they're got below the... sea level too. Zion was yes. good. They got the starry sponsorship and then started chugging it like water. And now, yeah, now they're cooked. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> is uh, outside of Timothy Tillman, man, Evander keeps Evander's, doing it. Yeah, Evander's a good soccer player. Dude, what happened to all the Evander slander? I thought he wasn't the guy. And then that Fritz, was good. Silver Evander USA slander. bought like a hundred of them. Oh, Saba just got killed. Uh, yeah. Event. I mean, we said he's. We said we should have got picked in the draft, and obviously, you that's know, true. Oh, we that's see true. why. We see why. Actually, Should I we... could. I I couldn't have gone wrong because I had Cleesh and Cleesh did fine too. So that's Evander true. did that's better. True. Yeah, dude, look at these scores, man. Is this sustainable, Chris? Is this sustainable for this <laughs> he player? Did. He's a midfielder, and he's getting a little through. bit more sustainable he's because he's an attacking oh, oh. mid. So like, oh, so he's supposed to be. Sc- Ah, pull up Memo Rodriguez. Pull up Memo Rodriguez. More of a box to box. Pull up Memo. Is that sustainable? Let's... He's an attacking midfielder. Memo for sure. He'll sustain. <laughs> he hasn't played a he didn't play a minute yesterday. Ryan Raposo, What I'm hearing I'm is you like the Pacific Northwest more than you do California. That's all I'm hearing. What Ooh. I'm hearing is Maxi Crupeau is terrible at soccer. And he should <laughs> stop getting red cards in LA. But they have Kamal Miller in front of him. What could Dude, he broke his leg last time when he got a red card in LA? Must oh. we not forget? Dude, yeah. can we can we just say rest in peace, Kamal Miller, real quick? Can we just pour one out for the homie Kamal Miller? He's fine. Just... No, he's not fine. He's just been sticking it up all over the place. He's fine. Rest rest in peace, Kamal Miller, man. I was so upset. I was so excited. I was like, look, he's going to Portland, playing with Cray Poe. Like things are gonna be great. I'm gonna continue to use Kamal Miller. Ugh. You played a pen- the- you you played a Pentamus? Or Pentim? I don't know. You played a Pentamus? Who no. played Crupo? No, why is he? Why is he orange? Oh, uh, he must be in my training lineup then. No. Yeah. Hey, a good thing I put him in a training lineup because guess who's playing next week? <laughs> my Pantamus. Yeah. It's time to he to bring him out with the Kamal Miller. Oh, oh, low. who does Portland play next week? Actually, oh. someone they're I'm gonna, gonna do a little Pantamus Kamal Miller stack. For someone next week. they're gonna lose too. Hey, we get <laughs> that's a different show. We'll go over next week in a different show. Oh, we're on the conversation. Oh God! Oh, away never to mind. Columbus, away to LA, away to Charlotte. Home Maybe Crepo San- purposely got the red card so that he didn't have to get <laughs> his, get slaughtered. His so five average is actually going to be higher. <laughs> hey, we. Hey, Mike Basson brings up a good point. Felipe Mora back continues to score though. We 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 kind of one of the shows last week. Someone mentioned him. Felipe Mora mentioned that he was back. Are we are we peeking up a uh, um, cheeky Felipe Mora? Even though, what is it? What's his face? Careful. Uh, hum- yeah, Why? Because Rodriguez is here. and But if um, he plays out in the left, yeah, that's what I was but, about to ask. But Moreno didn't play. So, like, they're going to mm. want Moreno in the lineup, I think. 
Yeah. So how much of a how much of a leash does Anthony know. get where he started off the season great and I feel like yeah. he's kind of falling off? I don't know where they've kind of got five attackers for four spots. So I feel like there's going to be some rotation. I think Evander's going to be the only like, these probably guys. guarantee in there. Him and Rodriguez. And that sucks too, especially for Sober. It's like the worst thing. It's like, oh, look God. at all these great players that you Moreno. can't ever guess when they're going to play. Moreno. Oh, that's a killer. Can't trust yeah. him. Yeah, and that's upsetting. Now he finally got the forward cards, and you still can't trust them. What a waste! Don't what worry, waste they have yeah too. But look, yep. Portland yep. continues to prove that they can score, and they can't defend. Same thing with LAFC; they prove they can continue to score, but they can't defend. Hey, that's a trend. Aaron Long, fifty-five. So you watch your mouth. Hey, no, the L fifteen exactly. dude. He's not. It's going up. It's not good. Well, yeah, it's been below forty for a long time. So he needs he needs a little bit of help. Kai Kamara. Subs, Shout question out, mark. He's coming on every game now. The hey, fact he's still that searching. he's actually playing is really sad for LAFC. Well, he's still he's still searching for his uh historic goal, right? He breaks uh whose record is it? Wanda. Is it Donovan's record? Wanda. Wanda's Wanda. Yeah, he's, he's about egg. to break some scoring record. Dude, come to sporting, come back home, get the record. Honestly, it would be cool. Hey, he hasn't played in Orlando yet. Hey, so he might, sure he we'll might just go here. to he might just go to Cincinnati if Kubo's getting goals. He may as well just go up. Can there. can he come to Pittsburgh? Because we have scored one goal in five games. So we need help. Someone needs. Oh yeah, Evander you want Corey continues Baird? to do the. Beautiful. You get uh, no. You, we don't want Corey Baird. Baird. We don't want Corey Baird. <laughs> Nobody wants Corey Baird. <laughs> no, not even Corey Baird. No, wants no. Corey Baird. I said we want to score goals, not we want to keep scoring one goal in five games. Listen, all you need to know about Corey Baird is that he literally won a trophy with Houston, and they're like, "All right, thanks for your help, bye." They're like, ah, "We don't need him." And now they got Sebes. Thanks for your help. Yeah, who yeah. continues to be in and out due to injury. But shout out to Qualcheck for getting a goal. Griffin Dorsey shouted him out in her show. He did. He said he was the Go fourth down. Yeah. Ah! There friend, it is. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Um, dude, this is great. We actually got through all the games. This is nice. Atlanta and Philly are still going on. We have a massive, massive, massive St. Louis game against Austin when class is going to get this goal and put me up top for our draft that we did last week. We all love it. Everybody has I mean, fun. you might be looking at it anyway, again. Uh, Daniel Rios, and... Rios just scored. <laughs> He's no, back. he didn't. He's back. Oh, f- Wait, was it a Lennon assist? I think it was. Let's go! Take that, Jorge. I mean, I would assume so. I didn't actually see it. No, okay. It was from where the side he's. It. it was from the side he's been on, and it was, I think, across. So. Oh no. One would assume. Oh, oh but no. Should have played Rios instead of Jalen Lindsay. He's only on a forty right now. Give it a sec. Look, it still says zero zero. Oh no! As soon as I'm saying my goodbyes, all of a sudden Brooks Lennon gets freaking assist. No. No. Just- Let's see who it was. No. Shout out to Clarence off the line. No, no it wasn't. It was Amada. Son of a gun. MLS so rare scout. Thomas is oh. cooking. Oh, that means he Good should header. be above. That means he should be above Trip and B at this point, too. That means Trip and B is actually losing. He's, he's going to buy lose. his own Joe Willis. Yeah, he's yeah. going to put him on the marketing <laughs> good second account. I'm not going to lose. <laughs> oh, no. Trip and <laughs> That's so BS sad. to buy his own rare Joe Willis. Shout out to new- anybody who did watch that episode. If anybody didn't watch that episode, please go back and watch it. We had go. we had a ton of fun. It's such we a good episode. A you guys should go watch it. Dude, Especially the, the, the fact that like first thing this morning, Trippin in the Discord was like, hey, what's the score? It means everybody was thinking about their draft <laughs> lineups. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> beautiful like this it was fun i did actually have a good time drafting with everybody like the little competition um in the chat let us know on twitter let us know on youtube whatever it is if you guys enjoyed the draft if you guys want to do more i would love to have people from the chat in the draft to have to like switch it up every week do some fun things with everybody i think it was really cool we did a twitter giveaway for a nacho gill that was a hit people seem to really enjoy that too they had a lot of fun picking lineups most of them are wrong because most of them p- didn't pick me, even though I'm probably going to win. I think more people <laughs> picked you than me. Guess what? And y'all dragged pity. me the entire show. Everyone was like, look, everyone was like, look, that no one else is going to pick this guy. So I'm going to pick him. So if he wins, I'll make sure to win it. And then it was like that strategy completely backfired because then everybody picked him. They all and watched it, you drag me down and make fun of me for 45 minutes. And I like you put in the Discord. What? I like you put in the Discord, uh, win a new season hill and then just didn't post which hill. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lie, oh, did I? No. We're giving away a hill. Not. Any place for you? Hey, don't blame me for the technicality. All right. I'm just playing by the rules. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Anyway. 
Do you guys have anything else you guys want to talk about? Anything you guys want to point out from these games? Anybody from the chat? Any other thing that you saw this weekend that you want to point out that you want us to take a look at? Let us know. Because if not, I think we're going to get out of here. Because there's a second half of this game to watch. And I need to make some lunch before the next one. Guzan, clean sheet. I'm coming. I Time. almost picked Guzan as my as my goalkeeper because I had Lennon. So I was like, dude, what? You had, you had Kalina first, right? Though. No, I took Kalina, but I almost picked Guzan because I had Lennon. So it would have been. Mm-hmm. Look at Almada mm-hmm. score, dude. The old stacky stack. Yeah. There you go. There you have no, it. Did anyone pick Almada? Yes, yes. Thomas did. Thomas. Oh, okay. Full home. Yeah, that's why <clears throat> it should. So right now, that Almada goal right here should put Thomas ahead of Trip and B. And me. Uh, yeah. And you potentially. Yep. It doesn't well. do too much. And then. We'll be very close. And then, yeah, you and me are going to sweat this afternoon. And we'll update you guys. We'll post on Twitter. We'll post in the Discord. We'll keep you all guys updated. And then we'll as give of, that a reward. As of for. right now, you're good as long as Klaus starts because Lennon is not. You're like, I'm like 15 That's, points up right now. Fingers crossed, baby. So. Hey, my so rare lineups were trash this week. I might be winning two boxes if I'm lucky. Same. I think it comes down to Klaus. But here you go. As long as I oh, beat God. all you guys. Oh, God. I'm yeah, you're not going to win anything. <laughs> this is going to be the one week where instead of someone passing him the ball for a free goal, he passes someone else the ball for a free goal. Stop. He, like, Stop. returns the Stop. favor. All right. All right. Get... We're done here. Uh, Daniel oh, Boyce, no. have you looked into game week 482 yet? No. And if that's this weekend, we will be doing that on Wednesday when we I do our weekend previews. So hmm. I, think... I don't know. Either way, we'll be previewing yeah. next weekend on Wednesday like always. Thursday, maybe we'll do another draft. Maybe we'll do a normal podcast. I don't know. Thank we'll you guys for coming out. You. We'll see you next Sunday. All that fun stuff. And peace out.